And we have new video from the ground showing investigators from the National Institute of Standards and Technology. They're surveying the site of that collapse. It comes as families remain at odds about the future of the site. And an investigation into the, into the collapse continues at this very moment. Local 10's Christina Vasquez live with all the details. Christina. In fact, new tonight, this national team of scientists and engineers, they are offering you for the first time ever an inside look into their investigation. New video tonight of the federal investigation underway into what caused a portion of Chaplain Tower South to collapse. Here, you can see the portions of the building preserved and tagged for evidence by engineers at the National Institute of Standards and Technology who investigate building failures. Help us uh, determine you know, what, we, what we see is the probable uh, collapse mechanism that happened here. And they say that includes what you see right here, engineers evaluating the strength and quality of concrete columns. So far, the research laboratory says it's collected more than 200 building elements to include beams and pieces of the concrete slab. This as the recovery phase on site continues. Police releasing the name of the most recent victim to be identified. 79 year old Maria Popa, a day after police reported her husband was also killed in the tragedy. We're dealing with lives here. And in a Miami Dade County courtroom, we learn there is no consensus among families of what should become of the site. Some people want it sold and the proceeds immediately distributed. Some want to rebuild on the property. And some believe that this is hallowed ground and it should be forever a memorial. My only message is um, from the families is let's slow this down. Let's listen to what the families are having to say. Here's the mayor of the town of Surfside. Let's try to get some consensus and let's not rush to do anything that's going to be a permanent solution for a problem that is still unfolding that we don't know exactly how it's going to pan out. And the mayor with me today explaining that in his view, this just continues to be a very delicate, nuanced and developing conversation with all these families. The next hearing on all of this is in a courtroom next week. Reporting live for you in Surfside, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.